today I am filming because I've decided to do some tie dye. I'm going to tie dye my old white clothes that I have here. It's not the nicest day outside so I'm not sure how this is going to go but I thought I'd film it for you guys anyways. I've got some white trackies. They're from factory. I bought them last year but they've got a couple stains on them so I thought I would tie dye them and then I have a little cropped white shirt that I'd tie dye so I could wear them together and then I just have this old big t-shirt to tie dye that's also got stains and stuff on it so I'm going to use this one as like my experimental one. This is the tie dye kit I got. I bought it yesterday from Spotlight. It was $20 and it's just got um, like a light blue, green and a dark blue purpley colour so I'm just going to use the light blue one today I think and yeah some gloves I don't think I need them this one's really good because it has these bottles I don't know if you can see them it already has the dye in it and you just add water so it's really easy to um, get your dye in like exact spots I've just laid down an old towel on the grass because I don't want to stain anything and my clothes are all washed now so I'm just going to lay them out and then crinkle them how I want and put some rubber bands over them. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I haven't actually done this pattern before. I normally just do like the circle patterns or twisting it up. So I don't know. I'm just going to start crinkling it. So I'm not going to talk for this part of the video, I'm just going to quickly do it um, as fast as I can before this sun goes away and I'll speak to you when it's all finished. <laughs> In case I didn't mention before, this is the Tulip One Step Tie Dye and I'm just using the lightest blue colour. I'm just going to fill it up halfway first and give it a shake and then fill it up to this black rim here. It just helps with the colour to make sure that's nice and even and dissolved in the water. I've already got dye on my hands from making up the bottle so I suggest doing this before. But this is the fun part. We're going to start dyeing the clothes. So I'm going to put on a fair bit. Because where it's crinkled, that part will stay white. side as well this is why we use an old towel because as you can see the dye is going everywhere left again left again oh, there's a jungle in my head going wilder So 
so once that's done it's a nice day you can hang it up on the line but it's not the nicest day today and it's meant to rain so I'm just gonna sit it in plastic and leave it for six to eight hours depending on how dark you want it you can obviously take it out before then and you can leave it overnight if you want as well I'll talk to you when we're ready to take the bands off this is my tie-dye I left it overnight and I did it at 11 o'clock yesterday and it's now nearly that time the next day so I'm gonna take the bands off it and we'll see how it went oh, I hope this looks good it's a little crop top I did that's the front and that's the back that looks so cool have to hang it up on the line like that this is mum's old shirt she gave me that's my crop top and these are my trackies I'm so happy with them that's the front and that's the back super happy with them they're a little bit more blue the pants are a little bit more blue than I wanted but that's okay and this is mum's shirt that I tie-dyed. This one turned out pretty good, so I'm happy with that. I forgot to add that if you want to set your dye into your dyed clothes properly, you need to put the clothes into a bucket or a tub, um, add vinegar and salt and some water until it's completely covered, um, let it soak in there and then rinse it out. That's just so that it doesn't bleed when you wash it and your clothes stay dyed. <laughs> if you want to know a more in-depth with measurements on how to do that, I'll link a video down below. I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys liked it. It was fun to film. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe. It mean the absolute world to me and I'll see you in a video very very soon. Bye!